the beautiful and unique Century Link Field is the home for this matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Two offensive-minded teams, just moments to kick off a final thought, Phil. Well, the fans are going to get what they want. The NFL is going to get what they want, too. A lot of scoring, a lot of big plays. It's going to be exciting. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. right at about the 28-yard line. Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Nickel formation here for the defense. Throws the pass. They have their first first down of the game. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Frank Gore is in the backfield. with the passing game on first down. Makes the catch in the open field. Puts up six. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The 49ers for the extra point. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Makes the PAT. Offside. Defense. The defender got caught in the neutral zone right there. That'll cost him five. Yeah, he's a little too anxious. You know, all these defenders, they got one thing in common. You know what that is? They hate quarterbacks. <laughs> they want to get there. A little too nervous there. Gets him caught in the neutral zone. He'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Out of the eye, the give to the tailback. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but still they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Hanna. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Spins away from contact. come out jumbo package on the field first and ten they break through tackle them behind the line when you make play calls like that you're not going to win many football games that was a terrible call here on first down Come on, alert, 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 alert. 
Second down following the run. Right on the money. Tackles made. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. Taking off. And he's brought to the ground. That's an excellent job. Just getting enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down coming up. And he's going to pitch it here. And he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. the Seahawks now to take the lead with the extra point. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. up now as a slot receiver. The 49ers now move the chains. Hard to play man to man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big. You got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. Colin Kaepernick under center. They're going back up top. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Lined up in the slot on second and ten. Screen brings it in. He's got a little bit of daylight here. He's got the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. He steps out. Baldwin's in the slot. First 
first and ten. Baldwin's got it on the handoff. Wide to the left. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. It's now second down. To the ground here. He'll go to the left. Third and two here after the run. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. Defense now signaling for a timeout. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Flying across the middle, reaches out and grabs it. I just don't think that's a good job by the defense. It's fourth and short. You kind of know what the offense is going to do. They were not ready, and they give up the first down. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback, when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Second down coming up. Looking to the right side and throwing. Wide open for the catch. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Set up screen. Inhales the pass. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and then uh, getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. The Seahawks at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. And almost picked off. Man, this is a fucking that was excellent man-to-man -man coverage at time when you want to shut down a receiver Really, the only way to do it is to man up and play him one on one. Hey, hey. This is third down. Wilson's got it in the gun. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. That was a nice job by the defense. I didn't you, my nigga. I understand. Being alert for the downfield throw, the defensive back in good position results in an incompletion. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout, and they fail to overturn the call on the field. Russell Wilson has it under center. The pass is intercepted. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. And 
up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Frank Gore gets it here. They've got him down there. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, when you see a throw that bad, there's a couple things that can happen. Maybe a defensive player flashed in front of him, or maybe the quarterback just lost control of the football. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Here on third and five. Looking across the middle. Almost intercepted that time. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time. But the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Bolden's got it on a pass that had some heat. The 49ers still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The defense did not give up an inch. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Second down and ten. Looks to his left. Jumps up and comes down with it. Such a bigger window for the quarterbacks to throw the football now to these wide receivers. They can catch it no matter where you throw it. That time looks like it's overthrown, but a nice leaping catch. Reception gave them the first down. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. They're going to get him this time. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side. It's all about timing. The skies it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. He'll fire it out to the left. Brandon Browner with the interception. And here he goes. Uh, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Two tight ends. First and ten. Throws to the right. And it 
Oh my god, yo, they fucking call. Oh, really the lucky this shit, bro. Nice job that time by the defensive yeah, right? player. He is down. all over the wide receiver in this man to man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Heaving it down the field, but it's incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Now looking at third down. Working that left side. Percy Harvin with the grab. It's just a good example of how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. The throw to these wide receivers short, we can see they're able to take short passes, break tackles, and with their talent, they get long gains. First down here after the completion. He'll throw it over the middle. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kick. The Seahawks can take the lead with the extra point. Put an official two points on the board as they can work. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. And Crabtree is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Now first and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Breaks out of that one. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Bolden's lined up now as a slot receiver. And he's going to be brought down. Well, you're on the offensive side, my gosh. You know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. Throws the pass. Under fire on that throw. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. They face third down after the incomplete pass. Makes the grab. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. get the snap in time. That'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Still fourth game. And this will be a 50-yard field goal try. for the offense. It's one of the toughest jobs in sports, being a field goal kicker, because you got to sit there, you got to think about it, and you do have a chance to get nervous and get tight. They missed a field goal chance there to go ahead. 
Now on first down. Baldwin's going to take the handoff now. He'll go left. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Dante Whitner picks off that pass. The tackle was made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down on the way. And the give to Frank Gore. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. And Manningham lined up in the slot. Getting sacked. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Third down now. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. That pass was hers. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Andy Lee will be punting this one. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Ball's loose. In on the stop. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit him so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. First down, offense ready for the snap. The defense gets a sack. Quarterback's got to know, but it's inside of two minutes, and that clock is moving. You want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. Easy catch there. No one near him. Touchdown. How about this gift? A wide-open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there, and he gets the easy touchdown. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. Across the middle, intercepted. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Signal for fair catch. in the slot. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And he is tackled at the 44. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are saying, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. First and ten. Airing it out. Could have been intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Gore is lined up in a single back formation. And he's intercepted. Nice tackle. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into an interception? Oh, 
takes a receiver in the slot. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. The Seahawks call a timeout and are left now with only one. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down, following the long play. Goes deep to Sidney Rice, and that pass is picked by Carlos Rogers. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. First down and 10. That's a two-point safety, and that means you also have to send the ball back to the other team with a free kick at the point. Going to try his luck here. And the tackle's made right around the 32-yard line. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Wilson standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. What a catch. Nothing like a receiver who can just put his head down and go after the football. That's what he did that time. Nice throw by the quarterback. Watch the receiver at the last second looks up and makes the catch. The first half is over, and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. They're lining up here for the onside kick. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 10. There is a flag down. That onside kick attempt did not travel 10 yards, which is an automatic penalty. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Goes to the left, has some space to work with. That last play made by Patrick Willis. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Now cutting to the right. He runs it across for the score. Touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And the, so, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. And it looks like the kicking teams recovered the onside kick. 